In this lecture, we're going to take a look at the JavaScript console. Now, if you could open up Google Chrome and then hit Control Shift J, this will open up the JavaScript console. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to the left hand side, to the right hand side of my screen. And now I'm going to open up Notepad. Go to File, New. And now I have a new file here to work with. So similarly to Python, we have the console. And we also have an environment where we could type our code. Now I'm going to change the language here. And I'm going to go down here to JavaScript. This is so that I can get syntax highlighting for this language. To print to the JavaScript console, the format is console.log followed by parentheses. Inside of the parentheses goes the thing that we want to log. So we could type these first parts directly into the console. We could say console.log, and then I'm going to type in hello world. And you'll see that hello world was printed to the console. Now, I'm going to type another. I could also, uh, the workflow here could also be console.log. And then I could say programming is fun. And a workflow that you could use is you could type your code into Notepad++, copy and paste this into the console. I'm going to hit Control V if you're on a Mac. That would be uh, Command V to paste. And you'll notice that it says here programming is fun. Now aside from strings, we can print other types of values like integers to the console as well. For example, console.log integer value 5. And then notice that in JavaScript, each statement ends in a semicolon. Paste that in. And you'll notice that a value of 5 is printed to the console. We can also put an expression inside of the parentheses, which would be evaluated, and then the result will be printed to the console. So I'm going to come here and add a plus 2 to this 5. Copy and paste it. And you'll notice that 7 was printed to the console. So aside from just regular val uh, singular values, we could also put expressions into here, which would be evaluated, and then the result printed to the console. Now, we could also print Boolean values to the console. So if we do console.log true, console.log false, you'll notice that these also can be printed to the console. Now notice one difference between Booleans in JavaScript and Booleans in Python. In Python, Booleans have a capital first letter. The T in true is capitalized and the F in false is capitalized. Now in JavaScript, that's not the case. So you'll see that these Boolean values were printed to the console. Now we can also separate values with commas to print each value separately. So I'm just going to choose one of these console log statements, clear it out, and I'll say 1, 2, 3. So now we're going to console.log 1, 2, and 3, those integer values, and these will all be logged separately. So you'll see here that 1 was logged, then a space was printed, 2 was logged, space was printed, 3 was logged. So you're able to print them out on the same line but separated by spaces. Now we could also use the string method to convert something to a string. For example, if we wanted to concatenate a value other than a string with the string value, uh, we could do this. We could say console.log and we'll say 1 plus 1 equals, we'll put a space and another space, we'll put a space inside of the string, then outside of the string we'll put a plus sign, and we'll say string 2, and then at the end we're going to put a semicolon. So let's take a look at what this is doing. We want to print 1 plus 1 equals and then print the number 2 to the console uh, concatenated to that string, but if we were to remove this uh, string method here that we're passing the two into to convert it to a string, we wouldn't be able to use this plus sign to concatenate them.
Now you'll notice here it says string is not defined. That's because I was using the wrong string value. See, so uh, the, so this here, this lowercase string, uh, is not defined. So actually, this method starts with an uppercase, and you could also tell this by the syntax highlighting. So when you're using one of these uh, conversions, it turns purple. So uh, that's that's a quick way to know if you did something uh, wrong. Then if you don't see the syntax highlighting there, uh, you may have typed something in incorrectly. Uh, you'll see a, you'll see an error, a reference error here that the string is not defined. And, but then you'll see that uh, when we change it to a capital letter, we get our proper result here, 1 plus 1 equals 2. And that's a quick look at the JavaScript console.